This is Mahmoud Hassan Mehraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDOS. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view, this is the top view, this is the front view and this is the right side view. First of all, I will start drawing from the top view. In the top view, first I will draw a center line of dimension 60. Then I will draw another center line of dimension 70 divided by 2. Then I will draw, then I will select line and draw a line of 25 unit then draw this line after that i will again start drawing line from this point to here and the distance will be 150 minus 70 divided by 2 then i will draw a vertical line here of dimension 10 then draw this line and this horizontal line has a dimension of 150 minus 90 divided by 2 but in here I will not draw this portion first of all I will draw this outer portion so I will then draw a line here and this line has a dimension of 150 minus 138 but divided by 2 then i will draw a vertical line here and this vertical line has a dimension of 38 then i will draw a horizontal line and this horizontal line has a dimension of of um, 138 minus 90 divided by 2 then i will draw a vertical line of 40 unit then i will draw this horizontal line of 90 divided by 2 then after that i will mirror the other part as well by using mirror tools okay selecting the top plane now sketch now selecting center line draw a center line of 60 unit then draw a horizontal center line of 70 divided by 2 unit now press ok now select line tools now draw a vertical line of 25 unit then draw a, a horizontal line of 35 unit okay i will start drawing from now from this point this point to this point draw a horizontal line and this horizontal line has a dimension of 150 minus 70 divided by 2 then draw a vertical line and this vertical line has a dimension of 10 unit then draw a, a horizontal line and this horizontal line has a dimension of 150 minus 138 divided by 2 then draw a vertical line and this vertical line has a dimension of 38 then draw another horizontal line and this horizontal line has a dimension of 138 minus 90 divided by 2 now draw a vertical line and this vertical line has a dimension of 40 after that i will draw a horizontal line of 90 divided by 2 now press ok for a better view i am moving the dimension so that you can see it clearly okay it is quite clear now now select by pressing ctrl a select all the line now select now press ctrl and the mouse left click to unselect the center line okay now use mirror entities you can see i have mirrored all the item if you click control a of selecting all the line and select the mirror entities it, it will automatically mirror it otherwise you can mirror manually by selecting all the line and using the mirror tools now it is extra over dimension so i need to delete some dimension because some are over dimension so I am deleting some dimensions 
okay now isometric it now you can use a stood boss and here you can see it has a stood boss of 10 unit so i am stood bossing it to 10 unit now go to features and stood boss and now stood boss it to 10 unit now press ok after that here you can see at this point i have a circular shape and this circular shape a has a diameter of 50 and it has a dimension of 45 minus 10 okay selecting the surface now sketch now normal to it now select circle place the circle to the origin and draw a circle of 50 diameter now isometric it go to features and then extrude boss and now extrude boss it to 45 minus 10 unit now press ok now i will draw this shape and this shape can be drawn easily by using the offset entities so first of all i will select this line this line line then i will offset entities it to 10 unit by then i will get almost like this side this shape then i will select the line tools and draw a two vertical line here then i will trim this part and trim this part then i will extrude to boss and extrude boss it to 35 minus 10 okay selecting this this face now sketch now normal to it now select this line this line okay now use convert entities now select offset entities select this line use reverse select chain cap in line now press ok now select line and draw to vertical line and again also in the other side also draw another vertical line now press ok now select this surface now convert into this now select trim and trim all the unnecessary part now press ok our final part will look like this then i will go to features and then next to boss and next to boss it to 35 minus 10 unit now press ok after that i will draw in the right plane this shape for drawing this shape first of all i will draw a circular shape and this circular shape has a diameter of 38 and from that i from that circular shape i will dimension it to 56 unit from this horizontal line then i will draw a tangent line here and i will take a point here and after taking a point here i will dimension it to 33 and then i will again draw a tangent line then i will close the shape and draw and it to boss it to 10 unit now selecting this surface now sketch now normal to it now select cycle and draw a circle here of 38 diameter now select span dimension now dimension it from this origin line to 56 unit after that select the point option and place a point here and now select span dimension and dimension this point as 33 unit now press ok now select line and draw a tangent line here and again point your line here and draw a, another tangent line okay now you can close the shape after that select the trim entities and trim this one now press ok now isometric it now go to features and then extrude boss now extrude boss it to 10 unit now reverse the direction now press ok 
now we can see we have this circular shape 38 unit has this extra portion here and this extra portion here if you calculate 96 minus 64 di divided by 2 then minus 10 you will get to see that this extra portion portion is here is 3 unit and this extra portion is here is 3 unit so do the math by you by yourself you will see that dimension will be extra portion portion will be 3 unit so i am selecting this surface and sketch now select a circle and place the circle now placing the circle here and drawing a circle of dimension 38 diameter now isometric it now go to features and then extrude boss extrude boss it to in direction 1 3 unit and in the direction 2 10 plus 3 unit now press ok now select the right plane now select mirror entities now select extra boss 4 and extra boss 5 now press ok after that we can see we have a extra cut cycle here and this cycle has a radius of 20 so i am selecting this face now select sketch now normal to it now select circle and place the circle to the previous cycle, cycle origin now dimension it to 20 diameter now isometric it now go to features and then extrude boss uh, sorry select extrude cut and select extrude cut through all both now press ok after that we can see we have another extrude cut circle here and this circle has a dimension of 10 diameter from this vertical line it has a vertical distance of 23 and and the horizontal distance it has a horizontal distance of 150 minus 126 divided by 2 so selecting this face now sketch normal to it now select circle and draw a circle of 10 diameter now select is my dimension now dimension it from the from the bottom is 23 unit now dimension from the vertical line is 150 minus 126 divided by 2 now press ok now isometric it for a better view now go to features and it's to cut now press ok now select the right plane now mirror and now select it should cut to now press ok after that we can see we have another extrude cut circle in here and this extrude cut circle has a diameter of 32 and it has extrude cut through here so select this face now sketch normal to it now select a circle and draw a circle of 32 unit now isometric it now go to features and then extrude cut extrude cut it to through all both now press ok now we have almost done drawing our shape but all we need to now do is the all the fillet and for doing the fillet we can see we have a fillet here and here is three unit and also here and here the three unit fillet so i am first doing the three unit fillet so select fillet option dimension it to 3 unit now fill it here and here and select this line this line and this line now press ok after that we can see we have another fillet here here we have a fillet of 12 and also here we have the same fillet of 12 so i am selecting fillet option again now flatting flatting it to 12 unit now selecting this line and again select this line now press ok now you can see we have many flat of 6 unit we have another flat here, here as a 6 unit and another flat here as a 
six unit and also here and here we have field of six unit and in the lower portion of this angle bracket we have field of six unit so selecting fillet option again and dimension it to six unit now select this line this line and also in the other side also select this line and this line in the bottom face select this corner line and select this corner now press ok now I make it I it for a better view we can see we have a fillet here is 12 unit and another fillet here is 12 unit so select the fillet option and dimension it to 12 unit now fillet here and select this line also in the other side now ok now we can see we have another fillet here but it is quite looking like it has it is fillet of 6 unit uh, I'm not seeing the dimension here so I, I fillet this portion to a uh, to 6 unit fillet so fillet here and select dimension of 6 unit now press this part and this part now press ok here we can see we have a fillet of 25 radius here so I am selecting this face now sketch the normal tweet now I will draw a circle here it's drawing a circle of 25 radius now press ok now I am selecting this circle and this line and making it to tangent now press ok now again select this line and select this circle now make it tangent now press ok now select this line and the this line and this two line also now use the convert entities now select trim option and trim the unnecessary part we don't need now we can see we have done our fleet shape quite similar as that now I submit it now go to features and stood boss and now it to boss it to 10 unit reverse the direction now press ok now select the right plane now mirror option and now mirror this part now press ok some of you may say that why i am using the manual sketch option to drawing this fillet because sometimes when you are drawing multiple fillet like this one and this one which are and this one all of those are intersect intersecting each other sometimes you will get some errors so sometimes you need to draw fillet by manually also so thank you for watching till the end here we can see we have drawn our 3d sketch but those of you who didn't understand uh, the portion here how i mirrored this part for those that person i want to say that when you the, drawn the half part of a sketch then you select all the part of that sketch uh, then if you select the mirror entities option it will automatically mirror the part uh, against the center line so that was that was today's so thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different